arrived at our new destination for our volunteer work. Two trains, no, a train and three buses later. We made it. Um, and we're just waiting to get picked up by the people that we're volunteering for. We've never met them, so this is quite funny. Feels like a cute little village, doesn't it? Yes. Really mountainous here in Sicily. Really cool. It seems like one bus route around here, but... This cat, they only found um, her on a dog walk about a week ago and she's like crying out for help and just on her own like a little kitten and apparently she's a lot older than the size she is because she's quite malnourished and stuff but she's on like um, antibiotics and stuff to help her get better and make sure she's got no diseases before she meets all the other cats. But she's quite goodly and <laughs> really noisy. <laughs> This place to ourselves for three nights and then we're moving into a little campfire but look look at this bed wow it's so nice got our own own little house bathroom yeah we've had a really cool first day and uh, been introduced to all the animals they cooked us some nice food which was pumpkin soup and what are they called chestnuts some like nice veggies all vegan yeah, looking forward to tomorrow and looking forward to getting warm in bed. Arriba Dorchi. Alright, so we're living out here in the Sicily um, countryside. It's just really nice, like, um, there's loads of herbs and stuff to grow here, like rosemary and stuff. It's really nice to walk through. And um, we're walking with the dog, uh, Vixie. Sorry, Nixie. Uh, she seems to know where she's going around here, so we just follow her around. And um, over here is an active volcano, it's called Mount Etna. By active, I mean it goes off regularly. Like some people say at night time, you'll hear it go off and it's like fireworks in the sky. It's really cool. It smokes a lot. I think it might be smoking now. I just can't tell if it's bad or not. I think we need blue skies to tell for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it smokes a lot. Um, hasn't gone off in a, in a bit, like a few weeks or something. So they reckon they're building up like a big uh, eruption. So not, obviously, not nothing like Pompeii. It'd just be like a big, you see lava and stuff. You see, I think they saw lava like two days ago. Yeah. yeah. And a new crater opened up. So. Yeah, are you interested to see some lava? Oh, you can just see the top coming out now. That's it. There's two craters up there, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, hopefully we see lava in the month that we're here. Yeah.
So Mount Etna that we're living next to in Sicily this month um, is one of the most active volcanoes in Europe and has the longest recorded history of eruption. And it's been blowing out stream and lava since 15,000 BC, which is really cool. And apparently the smoke that you can see on the top right now, apparently it smokes all the time. And the day before we arrived here, so only a few days ago now, there was a big eruption and um, people could actually see lava and a new crater was created. And apparently if you see lava at night time, it spurts up from the surface and it kind of looks like fireworks. So whilst we're here, we're really hoping to see some lava or something going on with this volcano. But how cool is this? We're actually quite far away, so we've got a really cool view of the volcano, but we're not actually too near. It's about an hour drive to get to the bottom of it and you can climb up about 2,000 meters high and then get a cable car the rest of the way. But um, yeah, I find it really cool. And you can see smoke coming out of the top. Just going on a little sunset walk right now. And the bugs are really cute, they kind of just follow us. And I just remembered one more thing about the volcano. Even though it's active, it's still one of the safest, I think. Um, well, we were told. Um, because of all the mini eruptions, I think it's safe, if anything, rather than no eruptions and then one big one. So we've moved into our next accommodation and it's a cute little camper van. Look how nice this is. Cute little double bed with the most amazing view. Look at that, I can't wait to wake up to this. How cute. Cute. And it's the next day. And look how amazing this no, look, hopefully after Christmas we're going to try and climb up Mount Etna. Part way anyway, because apparently, how tall was it, like 3,000 metres? Once you get to 2,000 metres, apparently you need a tour guide to do the rest. Or you can get a cable car, which will be pretty cool to see the volcano craters and stuff. So we'll see when we're there. So we've got made scrambled tofu, garlic, turmeric, salt today. These are homegrown avocados. I think these are really local apples. Local grapes in the fruit salad, homegrown olive oil, and yeah, loads of these spreads are homemade as well. I think the jam and stuff, yeah, and there's more as well. Bon appetit! It's like a more eco friendly than the other side of the yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, and here, if you go in the supermarket, you find avocados and mangoes from the other side of the world, which ah, is crazy. crazy. You can grow mangoes, you can grow passion fruit, you can grow yeah. papaya, you can grow bananas. We have a cut for several days. Oh, really? Okay. Here there are two. Some dates. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. Mama! Like, like turn, maybe. Yeah. Maybe time. Yeah. Making more dried fruit in the dehydrator. We've got kiwis, apples in there, and then these ones are the ones that have just come out. These are khakis or Sharon fruit or a million other names, but they're so delicious. It's like such a good snack. It's actually like eating sweet, they're so sweet, they're really good. So before we got here, they told us there was going to be like wildlife, like little lizards, and I've actually seen one. I forgot about them, but of course, I've lost it. <laughs> Didn't get the camera out in time, but hopefully I'll try to see it again. It was really small, but I could just see it moving along on this palm tree. Being relaxing in the sun with this little girl called Batty. She's a rescue cat and you're found in the woods really malnourished, but she's getting better. She's on second antibiotics. Um, she just seems like she has a little cold or something. But 
She's pretty playful like a normal little kitten. <laughs> She's playing with the camera strap right now. She's a little cutie. The sun is shining for us, isn't it? <laughs> Did they not like my dinner? 